So that takes care of all the Gulf oil updates. And I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you we're now well into hour number two of episode 169 of Media Monarchy. It's May 7th, 2010, and my name is James Evan Pilato. I'm your host and webmaster of the site and show, MediaMonarchy.com, your source for alternative news, politics, conspiracies, and cover-ups, recording live and streaming live video from the Portland Radio Authority, PRARadio.org, and live video on Ustream.tv slash Media Monarchy. We're now going to shift gears and get back into more police state updates, immigration, ID cards, and unruly flyers. What we're going to hit first is, again, something I've been telling you about now for weeks. Larger events in Europe and in the Gulf Coast kind of take it over, but we're going to get into the immigration issue which again, just like the terror issue, it's ostensibly meant for some certain people, but ultimately it gets used for everyone. And while they're able to use these catalyzing catastrophic events or even near events, always exploiting a tragedy, the fear and the control that they're able to ratchet up in the wake of these events never goes away when the event is debunked, as it typically is. So let's get back into the immigration ID card situation with a report. It's up on Yahoo. It's from the Huffington Post. Mainline. National ID card included in Democratic immigration bill. This from last Friday, April 30th. Democrats pushed forward on an immigration overhaul with no Republican support as Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, continues to hold out, arguing that the divisive issue will make progress on climate change legislation impossible. No. The Senate is also in the middle of debating Wall Street reform, which again, as we've dubbed, it's going to be the please don't throw me into the briar patch reform for the banksters. And that's expected to take up the next few weeks of floor time. Reed, however, said that the chamber would be able to handle the task. We can do more than one thing at once. The Democratic proposal includes increased money for Border Patrol and drug war agents, equipment, helicopters, and unmanned drones. It would create a national ID, which is dubbed a, quote, biometric social security card. Though Democrats insist that it's not an ID card and can only be used for employment purposes. And they add a little update where there's language in the bill limiting its use. And we know they follow rules to the T. The proposal would also include a crackdown on employers who hire undocumented workers. And it also works to deport some immigrants who are, in the, who are not in the country legally and creates a limited pathway to citizenship for others. Democrats brought out their heavy shitters, hitters I mean, for an announcement. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Democrat of Nevada, Majority Whip Dick Durbin, Democrat of Illinois, Schumer of New York, who's been leading the push for immigration reform. See, it's Schumer and Lindsey Graham who introduced this biometric national ID card. So we see it's intimately tied in with this immigration issue. And while they're saying, as they're saying in their language limiting its use, that this is only going to be for employers to look for undocumented workers. If you look at the legislation, it's for all workers. That means you and me, everybody. With biometric information, that can be your fingerprint, your retina scan, any of that stuff that's becoming all the more pervasive in the brave new world order. And they go down the proposal, including more Border Patrol, more ICE agents, high-tech ground sensors, more prosecution of drug smuggling, human trafficking, which of course we know the private military contractors usually are involved in most of the drug running and human trafficking. So it's essentially a, a, an immigration control grid. 
And as we've said, when the immigration issue was huge several years ago, and again, this is the football issue they throw out for us to all argue and tear each other apart over, that ultimately they don't care. For more on this, we can hit beforeitsnews.com and learn that tying in with this is something called the BELIEVE system, an acronym for Biometric Enrollment, Locally Stored Information, and Electronic Verification of Employment. And the name BELIEVE system in itself is disturbing. And as we discussed in my recent Media Monarchy interview with Andrew Hoffman of eugenicswars.com, Mark of the Beast. Global research gets into the covert economic agenda behind immigration reform. And of course, last Saturday, May Day, May Day, May Day, May 1st, National Workers Day, where we had thousands marching at events across the U.S. You can get more on that from News Junkie Post, and we'll get a quick rundown from ABC. Across the Bay Area and across the country, tens of thousands turn out in protest of Arizona's tough new immigration law. Hello, everyone. Those